Hey everyone, it's Robert, and welcome back to Rob Unwraps. A few weeks ago, I got a request to take a look at the Elgato Stream Deck. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this unwrapped and take a look at it. So we have the Elgato Stream Deck here, which uh, unfortunately says it still works for Mixer, and as we know, that's not really the case at this point. Nice little cutout for supporting the box there. Got a quick start guide. Stream Deck itself, USB cord, it's capped. And then we have the stand. These are independently controlled back here. Not really sure what the point of that is, but So they can go in there. And if you want to make it higher. Yeah, and there's a number of score adjustments back here so you can get different angles of inclination. And there's a little book in the box. Comes with other languages. Let's go ahead and get this hooked up to the computer, fire it up, and take a look at it. All right, everyone, so if we go ahead and we plug the Stream Deck in, it'll go ahead and illuminate itself, lights up, we see the Elgato on there, and we do see that there's a Stream Deck. When you first install this, that obviously won't be there, you can go to Elgato slash gaming slash download, select your product, this is the Stream Deck, you want it for, in my case, it's Windows. You want to go ahead and click download right here. It'll download, we'll go ahead and install it. And it only takes a minute or two, it's not a big deal. Go ahead and launch the Stream Deck. And you'll have a welcome button. And this will be the first thing that you have. And if you push the welcome button, it will take you to Elgato's website. 
and there are a number of walkthroughs here that will show you a lot of different things that you can do with the Stream Deck. There's productivity work, lighting, audio work, streaming. Now I've gone ahead and done some of this before. I wanted to really be able to just kind of like show this from a introductory setup, but it proved a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be, so it wouldn't have made for a good video. I also ran into quite a few problems, particularly with audio and controlling my inputs and outputs, but I'll get to that in a little bit. So first off, if you're a streamer, there are quite a bit of tools in here that are really helpful for you, particularly OBS, because that's what I use. So I've gone ahead and I have started and created uh, a few little macros or actions, so to speak, to help. Uh, here's one where if I go ahead and I touch this button, it'll launch my website, which, you know, YouTube, you guys are here and saw your finest video. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Go ahead and shut that down, bring it back up. Uh, here's one that will swap different scenes. And I have one that's I've made and it's called camera. Now I did have to uninstall and reinstall the software. So I think that this broke and it did, but we can go ahead. It's not a big deal. We go ahead and fix this real quick. So we go to OBS studio and we want to go to scene and we'll drag this over here and we can call this whatever we want. Uh, we'll call this camera. And then this saying the remote control plugin is missing. Okay, not a big problem. Wants us to reinstall the stream deck. We'll go ahead and we'll just shut that down. Quit the stream deck. We'll also unfortunately have to stop recording here and we'll pick it back up in a second. All right, we're back. So navigate back to camera and we'll go ahead and push that button. And hey, as you can see, it works. It switched over to my camera scene. That's great. We'll go back over to swap scene and it puts us back to the desktop capture. So something like that functionally, super great if you're a streamer and you want to set a, we'll be streaming soon, AFK, or anything you want to be able to quickly do with the push of a key while like you're gaming. You don't necessarily want to take away and have to go to a second screen. So that is like super helpful and really cool. And I mean, I can find a ton of reasons that you'd love this. They also have, so there's social media integration. We'll go ahead and we'll create one for Twitter. We'll say, hello everyone. I've linked it up to my account already. We can say something, say, hey everyone, testing out the Stream Deck. Apparently you can even include a little attachment with it. So go ahead and do that. Save that and we'll go ahead. And you'll notice there's a little indication that there is something attached to this. Go ahead and hit that. Now keep in mind right now that I don't actually have Twitter open in a browser or anything to that effect. We can go over here and see if in fact it did stream, it did tweet it out, but it did not include the attachment. So that's, you know, a little troubleshooting. No big deal. All right, so we got this website. A lot of different things that you can do with on here, specifically for streamers. There's also a ton of folders you can get down into. So you don't have to worry about limited on your buttons. You could sit here and nest folder within folder and you can do this for days. So there's an unlimited amount of icons you can actually put on here to include, you know, putting your things with buttons. Now that said, I went into the voice mod and used their recommended software that they had. 
because I was going to play around with their soundboards. And I did, and it was fun, but this voice mod software, when I downloaded it, took a really long time to download. And then once I got it running, I started to have issues with my PC. I started to have issues with it not recognizing different peripherals that were plugged in through the USB ports. So it would no longer recognize my microphone, which was kind of concerning. And it wasn't just one mic, it was two different mics that I was working with. So I was having a little bit of issues there. Uh, and then I went to reboot my PC. And I have Corsair keyboards and it didn't recognize my Corsair keyboard, which I found to be really interesting because that's supported by the Stream Deck. So I started to have a lot of little issues that were very frustrating and put me to the side of the fence where it's, I don't think I can rec I could not in good conscience recommend this to somebody to use that has other Corsair peripherals because while it does integrate with them, Clearly there can be some problems. And now once I did uninstall these, I did have to uninstall that voice software, but there's still legacy artifacts of it on my computer. And I can see virtual plugins for it for like line end devices, which is kind of frustrating because when I went to actually uninstall it, it crashed through the uninstall. And then when I booted the PC back up, it looked like it was uninstalled. Um, so be careful if you do choose to use their soundboard. I haven't really heard of anybody else that's had this problem. I know a number of people that have this hardware and they think it's great, but it really wasn't that great for me. And as you can see though, the scene swap, it's really cool. Works well, it's nice and you know just goes back through there, hit that, bring up a web page which shows you it's not just like YouTube, it's any number of web pages that you could play on here and do this too. And it's just as simple as going to, it's one of their functions. Let's go ahead and find their function. So we go into system, we can pick a website, we can drag this over to here, we can call it team critical hit and have it take us to www.teamcriticalhit.com. If anybody's wondering why I chose team critical hit and you also, so this is pretty cool, you can create a new icon. So it does allow you to have this custom icon creator online. So that's pretty neat. You can pick a lot of their prefabbed buttons that they have here, or you can pick an image off of your PC and we'll go over to pictures and sure, why not? We'll use a picture of me. Oh, apparently that file top's not supported. I overpowered the, uh, PC there. Let's see. Do I have anything worth using? I don't know. Use this blue car here. I don't know whose car that is, but anyways, congratulations. And we'll save that as the key. And that downloads it, and then we can go back over here and we can set from file. And it's a Stream Deck key. And as you can see, now it popped up on the Stream Deck. And that's pretty cool, right? And we can go ahead and I can hit that button and it should bring up the website. But for whatever reason, it did not. So let's go ahead here and troubleshoot this one more time. URL, HTTPS, www.teamcriticalhit.com. I don't know if maybe it shouldn't be accessed in the background. Return, no, that doesn't need to be returned. Shut it down, hit the button, there we go. Now let's launch the website. Maybe you actually had to put the hypertext there. 
So anyways, if you are uh, in the gaming business and you are a game designer or publisher and you need people with go-to-market plans or PR assistance, make sure to give Team Critical Hit a look. So I hate to say it, but after taking a look at this device, I'm pretty disappointed with the Elgato Stream Deck. I've heard a lot of great things about it. I know people that have used it successfully. However, for, I guess, my use case, it just doesn't make sense. So I'm not a streamer. I am primarily a YouTuber. I make videos for YouTube that for people to watch that aren't live. Um, so I'm not constantly worried about scene transition. So the things that I really found value out of it just aren't really enough to help me in my production process throughout the day to warrant the cost. Uh, it looks great. It you know it feels like it's really manufactured well. The buttons are smooth. It, it, it just it looks like a quality piece of hardware. Um, and I'm not saying that it's not. However, the software conflicts that I had with my microphones and with my keyboards and the fact that it looks like I'm still going to have to do some more cleanup even after we're done producing this video just really leaves a bad taste in my mouth and I can't in good conscience recommend this to other people out there unless you're a very you know serious enthusiast streamer or professional streamer then something like this probably makes sense for you however unless you plan on using this every day it's $150 that you could probably spend somewhere else and get more value whether that's upgrading some of your other peripherals or spending that money on software, you know, buying more games. It just, it looks cool sitting on your desktop, but I don't really know how productive you're gonna be with it. That does it for this time. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed or found value in this video, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you let me know in the comments below on what you'd like to see me unwrap next. Thanks for watching. See you next time.